If you're suffering from type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetic, then uh, lots of things in your body are off. So if I told you that heat shock protein levels are reduced in people who are insulin resistant, you'd probably not be surprised. More than likely, your reaction to this piece of news would be heat shock proteins? What do they do? And why does it matter? The quick answer, they deliver a gin and tonic to a stressed out cell. They take the edge off. Join me for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we discover how you can mobilize your heat shock proteins, improving sugar uptake in type 2 diabetes. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. At the cellular level, insulin resistance is an oxidative stress problem. Too many oxygen radicals and not enough antioxidants on the ground mopping up. The abundance of oxygen radicals zooting around disrupts things. This leads to cells having meltdowns. And just like us, individual cells handle meltdowns differently. Some commit suicide. Some become aggressive and nasty and turn cancerous. And, well, some just struggle on doing the very best they can under the circumstances. Most alert the authorities. The arrival of the immune system often escalates the situation, creating a low-grade inflammation, which in and of itself can be stressful. Aish. Mother Nature understands. So, she's arranged for stressed out cells to unwind a little with a gin and tonic. The drink is delivered by heat shock proteins. Proteins with an S. There are a whole lot of heat shock proteins. It's complicated, but just like the gin and tonic, heat shock proteins bring relief quickly. They take the edge off, helping cells calm down and return to normal. In the case of cells with sugar-regulating problems, taking the edge off means insulin sensitivity is improved. This is what a team of researchers from the University of Kansas Medical Center discovered when they arranged for rats to be served by heat shock proteins. Now, to enjoy their gin and tonic sundowner, the rats had to be put down. The team anesthetized the rats and then wrapped the bottom half of their bodies in a thermal blanket. The blanket was heated up to a toasty 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Under the covers, the animal's body temperature shifted to a rather hot 41 degrees C. Once 41 degrees C had been reached, the rats were left to enjoy a 20-minute siesta. Control mice also visited Dreamland, but their body temperature was not manipulated. The team awoke their charges and allowed them to feast and drink for 24 hours before they passed to the other side. Being a lab rat is a tough job. The scientists removed the animal's soleus muscle and began testing. They confirmed that the thermal blanket had indeed 
cause the rat's skeletal muscle cells to be served a gin and tonic. Bottoms up! But more significantly, the gin and tonic improved the ability of the skeletal muscle to take up sugar when it was exposed to insulin. That is, insulin sensitivity was better. Improved insulin sensitivity? Ah, serve me a glass of gin and tonic. Now, gin and tonics are typically served as a sundowner after a hot and busy day. So, how do you create hot and busy days in your cells? Well, one way to do it is a strenuous bout of exercise. Mm, not your style? Actually, there are a few ways to mimic the effect without the work. You do still need to sweat. They're not called heat shock proteins for nothing. Just like the rats, you could wrap yourself in an electric blanket and sweat it out. This method will work, but you could burn yourself or you could burn the house down. A far more pleasant option, which is also a lot safer, would be 15 minutes in a sauna once or twice a week. Go on, give it a try. Moving more sugar into your skeletal muscle will improve glycemic control and this will help create better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health and the health of your family? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com, browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science not hype. Know someone who is glucose intolerant and hates to exercise? Share this video with them so they know how to cheat and get a couple of heat shock proteins to make their cells feel good. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.